welcome to the Actors Penthouse with LA Reels TV. I'm Brett. I'm Noah. And, and this, this is Renee Moran. Moran. Yeah. Man, he like ran over here. Oh, <laughs> you're hilarious. <laughs> What's going on, guys? How y'all doing? Oh, uh, fantastic. We are, we're up here we're in the penthouse great. hanging out with you. With, yeah, a, yeah. with a sexy view, I might say. Yeah, very yeah. sexy view. Couldn't so, really get better. Uh, uh, Renee is Thank a very talented actor. Of course, of course, of course. So. Just for our audience, Renee is a very talented actor. He's worked with us before so um, on just the one scene. We've done one scene. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And he uh, blew me away. Amazing scene. Means it Thank scene you. meant a lot to me actually. Thank you so much. On a personal level, but uh, on an actual level, uh, Renee has been working uh, a lot. He's been doing a lot of stuff. Why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us about yourself. Tell us about some of the stuff you do and why you became an actor. Okay. Uh, my name is Renee Moran. Uh, I was born in El Salvador. Uh, I moved to the States when I was one. Um, I lived in L.A. for a couple of years, but we we made our way down south to Florida, my family and I. And I grew up in, in the south. I uh, came out here uh, in my early 20s. And, you know, just I was just out here for, um, you know, just get back on my feet. We had run into a couple of dark patches over there in Florida. But uh, after a few years, I was introduced to acting. I was working at a job in Sherman Oaks, and that dealt with a lot of entertainment uh, companies. And during my time there, I befriended a woman by the name of Danny Wolf, who runs a company called PTI, a uh, commercial agency. And it was through her that I was introduced to acting. Um, on the same floor, we have a casting office. So I was exposed to many different sides of it, uh, being up there on that floor. So she took me on as a client, asked me for pictures one day. I still wasn't sure what I was getting myself into. Huh. But uh, she started submitting me, and uh, I was very green. Um, and what happened was we ended up booking a national commercial for Ford. Yeah. And yeah. It was a good time. Um, yeah. It was an amazing experience. And I obviously became very addicted to it. Um, and it was something that I was very interested in. So just throw some of your credits right now then. You know. Some of the credits. Um, I've been, I recur on an ABC family show called uh, Switched at Birth. Yeah. I play a character named Nacho. Ooh, Nacho. The, evil troubled, Nacho. the troubled kid from the block. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, troubled, but you know, just a kid trying to figure out his way. Um, just had a Budweiser national commercial. Miller Lite. Miller Lite. Close. <laughs> Shit. Anheuser-Busch. Anheuser-Busch, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Think. Um, also, I rec I've recurred on a show called uh, Shameless on Showtime. Yeah. Um, I played a character named Hyro on there. Um, and I just recently worked um, on a Dr. Ken pilot with Ken Jung. Yeah. That'll be out awesome. in the fall. Right. And um, yeah, I, I, I did a spot on a show called um, Matthew Perry. Um, da -da -da, why am I blanking? Uh, sitcom, CBS. Just, just roll it back a bit. Yeah. Say, oh my Perry, God, what sitcom, is it called? CBS. Does anyone, um, it's a remake of an old show from back in the day. I'll get it to you later. Um, but yeah, I, I've been on that show, and right now we're just, you know, in the in the Damn. out there auditioning. You are working yeah, like the madman. Thank you, thank so, you. So, so go ahead, go ahead. Oh yeah, well, so Renee, you've been on a lot of stuff. What what are some yes. things that you want to get on? Yeah. Oh, who, you know, like who do you want to get? Yeah, what you, cast you know, what's on my there? radar? Do you want to see this? I'm hoping you know. to get on the show Empire. Um, yeah. Get a read with Miss Claire Simons. Ooh. I know she's casting out of Chicago. I've tried to yeah, connect yeah, with her yeah, through yeah. social media, and obviously my team, my manager, my agent, and them are trying to get me a read for that show as well. Miss yeah. well, Simons, we're coming for you. <laughs> we're coming for you. Yeah, please. So with that, that let's uh, let's play your reel. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Would love it. Nacho, we didn't mean to trick you. We just want to talk. No, 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 no. How about you listen instead? Your mom and her white boyfriend think they're gonna bulldoze in here with their J. Crew and Abaphony and Fitch and make laughs and places for brunch? Please slow down. I can't follow when you talk about that. Not that it matters to you, but there's a history here. There's a community. My dad's a bus driver. Where's he gonna go when the rents triple? Huh? Where are me and my friends gonna hang out when this place is a mall parking lot? There'll be jobs and money and better education. <laughs> you know what? We don't need saving. And if we did, we do it ourselves. I was scared, just like you, you know? I didn't want to do it, but I did. And when I did, I liked it. Shit, I liked it a lot. The way that she looked at me, like, like I was a fucking god, man. Man, she prayed to me, she begged me. So how's life, hombre? Huh? I heard your name is ringing in the dishwasher world. <laughs> Dirty plates quake when your rag come around. <laughs> yeah, I meant what I said. I'm going to pay you back. 
It's nothing, man. You don't owe me anything. Look, you're not taking care of my kid. Hey, look, I'm not saying you're any less of a man or anything like that, but you're not exactly saving up two grand on dish monkey pay, I say. You made your choice, and it was a good one, you know? Whoa! Yeah. That was great, <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank so you. So cool. Man. Thank you. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's always fun, you know, watching that and and um, just being reminded of of you know how much you've accomplished. Right. It's definitely um, a confidence booster when you're out here, you know, trying to lock the next deal down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's 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 incredible, actually. Um, so I mean, you as an actor, you work very hard. You have a lot of habits that you do. Um, what are some of the challenges you've had to overcome as an actor and to be where you are now? You know, the biggest thing, um, I think with an actor, your biggest obstacle is yourself. Mm. Um, it's very easy to get caught up. Uh, I, there's a term for it, getting caught in, you know, getting getting in your head. Yeah. Right. Um, and it's very easy to go there. So I think that for me is the biggest challenge. It's just on a daily, on a, just every day to focus, keep an open mind and move with the, um, with the, with the, Things that are tossed at you, you know, right. every day is a, is a new challenge and you, you don't see it coming. So I think that's the biggest obstacle is just to stay focused and open at the same time um, and, and learn to just kind of flow with everything that comes your way. And, and that gets that's it's I mean, it's easy to put it into words, but to practice and be disciplined right. about it um, really takes effort. And that's one of the things I mean, staying in class helps a lot. Uh, being being in rehearsals, you know, studying, writing. Writing is actually a new thing that I've really gotten deep into. Um, mm. It's something that I, I really wish to explore even further. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's just, you know, it's therapeutic in a way. Right. I'm not sure if you guys are, you guys write. Yes, as well, yeah, right? we write a lot. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I'm just discovering how, what a beautiful art that is. It's, totally. it's extremely therapeutic and, um, you know, we're all, we all have these gems of, of memories and stuff and to be able to put it down on paper and share it with someone else I think that's really special yeah even even if you know even if you're not just writing a narrative or a script like just writing a journal yeah your you daily know? things yeah. you know what's what's going through your head your goals for yeah. the day I mean because if you're not writing them down you're gonna forget them and, and you're yeah. gonna yeah. get sidetracked and go some other direction it's so. it's easy to convince yourself to yeah. be like hey you know I'll remember that I'll remember right, that but right, but right. when when will you really though you exactly know, then you're like what exactly. was I trying to think right. what was that I and was that, that brings you back to you being your number one obstacle yeah yeah to be so with that said, I mean, do you have a favorite habit that that you feel really helps you kind of do what you do what you're meant to do, or is there something that maybe there's a habit that you want to get into more? I mean, like writing's one, but is yes. there a habit that you're like, this is awesome, I want to explore uh, this more? To be free. Um, How's that? To habit? to articulate that is um, just to be to maintain maintain a schedule and a and a, and a, and a mind process where you're ready to take on anything that comes your way. Um, I think that's been the biggest thing that's really freeing for me. When I walk into a room to audition, mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you kind of check everything at the door. And the easiest way to do that for me is uh, to have peace of mind, to make sure that all departments in, in my personal life are taken care of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the more I can do that, the the more free I am to to play in the room, and I think that's when you really um, bring out your best work. Right? Yeah. When there's no weight holding you down, right. yeah. and that again, that takes effort, it's discipline, it's challenge to juggle both. Is both there a, like a, just a quick little practice that you do, like maybe like a, a one minute like meditation, head check that you meditation? Do? Yeah. You know, some people pray. I I, I pray. I meditate. Um, take a moment of just silence. I, right. I, I listen to music. Uh, when it comes to specific auditions, depending on the character I'm portraying that day, I'll listen to music. I think that character would listen to. Right. Oh, right, that's right. cool. That is makes really a cool. huge difference. That's really cool, actually. Right. It cool. really just kind of gets you in the zone of where you need to be. Um, and the biggest thing also, uh, one thing before um, we change subjects is landing it. I think every audition is almost like landing a plane. You can't land too early. You can't land late. You want to land it right on time, and that's when I want my best read to surface. Mm -hmm. I can, I can, I can go over and practice something during the morning, in the afternoon, depending on whatever time. But come that three o'clock appointment, I want to make sure my plane lands mm -hmm. yeah. safely and yeah. at that time. So that's that's just synchronizing your day so that that happens at that exact moment. Yeah. 
that's that's um, that's another thing that really helps. That's a lot. really that's really incredible. That's really it's really good stuff. Actually, the whole music thing, I'm gonna start doing. It <laughs> yeah, um, now it's just, a huge difference. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, uh, just some final advice, you know, that you want to leave with those fellow actors out there, and then also feel free to let us know how we get in contact with you, whether it's Twitter, awesome. Instagram. Yeah. So, um, to to every actor out there, you know, trying to live your dream, um, don't give up. Uh, it's a lot of obstacles. You know, it's it. You feel the momentum. You know, you start doing really well, and 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 it's like, man, this is, I'm this is it. I'm good now. Um, no, the work's just beginning. Don't stop. Don't stop growing. Wake up, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't don't stop. Don't stop working. Don't stop striving to get better. Um, and if you feel in down in the dumps, you know, maybe you, you had a couple bad reads. Get back in the lab, you get back in the gym, get yourself strong again, you know, figure out what is not clicking, then figure out a solution to that. And that's a very personal journey um, for myself and for anyone. Right. Sit down, you have to be honest with yourself, you know. It's not about the agent sometimes, it's not about the politics, it's about yourself. Totally. So before you start really adjusting other things in life, you got to really look in the mirror, be honest with yourself. Is this something that I'm, I want to do? And if you're willing to invest, mm -hmm. then you got to go all the way in. Yeah. Um, it's difficult. Uh, in the past, I've tried to juggle two different things that I that I, you know, that I'm very interested in, and um, I gained my most success when I took all that on the other side and dedicated it to just this stream. Yeah, and that's when I got my best results. And so that's something that I strive to do on a daily basis. So yeah, if you're out there, keep working hard and um, don't give up. Bam. Wonderful. With That's that, great. let's sign off. But let's let's let everyone yes. know how, how, we, how do we get in contact um, with you? You can reach me on um, Twitter and on Instagram at Renee's World with two D's at the end. Um, the one with the single D was taken. Oh. <laughs> and then um, I'm on Facebook. Look me up, Renee Moran. Um, I'll be there. My email is Renee at ReneeMoran.com. Um, I respond to all my emails and um, feel free to reach out, say hello, and. If you want to run anything by me, definitely feel free to reach out. Do you have a special nacho Facebook? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, but we should set that up. That's yeah, a great yeah, idea. Yeah, I never yeah, thought yeah, of that. Yeah. See you all later. Cool. Peace. Bang. Bang.